the proud tree once upon a time there stood two trees in the center of the forest one was a fig tree and the other was a mango tree the mango tree was gentle and jolly by nature every autumn the birds would come to peck at its fruits sparrows would build nests in his branches and the swallows would sing for him the tree happily welcomed all the birds and sang with them He was a generous tree. He would offer shade to passers-by and stand strong when the winds came to pay a visit. But the fig tree was not generous at all. He always cared too much about his looks. He was too proud of being taller and greener than the mango tree. He never let any birds rest on him and drop dry leaves on anyone who tried to sit under his shade. One day the wind asked him, "What are you so proud of? Every tree has its own shade." The fig tree replied, "Really? Then why do they have to sit under my shade? You know why?" because not every tree has shade as grand as mine the wind said oh, talking to you is of no use said the wind then the fig tree replied hey go away go to the mango tree over there you are all are messing with my hairstyle the wind said mhm mm mhm mm you don't have a hairstyle The fig tree replied, "All right, then you are messing with my leaf style. Are you happy now?" The mango tree said, "Come on, fig. They only want to build a nest. You never let birds sit on you. They are beautiful and sing melodious songs." The fig tree then said, "Ha! Huh, boring songs." and please i am not letting anyone near my leaves they will spoil my beautiful branches you can let them sit on you you are shorter than me and you don't look that great anyway the wind said hey watch it that's a very mean thing to say fig mango tree then said oh that's fine breezy i am not hurt being short is not a bad thing i am happy with who i am days passed and nothing changed between the mango tree and the fig tree where the mango tree would keep smiling and singing all day the fig tree would not talk to anyone the mango tree growled ugh one day a swarm of honey bees entered the forest and do you know what happened after that one day a swarm of bees entered the forest they saw the fig tree it was very impressed the queen bee said oh this tree is big and strong this would be perfect for a house we can build a hive here the fig tree then replied um excuse me you said you could i don't want your stinky honey all over my branches and you will keep buzzing all day i have better things to do the queen bee then replied you are a tree rooted at the one spot in the forest What do you mean you have better things to do? The fig tree then replied, 
whatever. You are not bringing those noisy little buzzers here. The mango tree then said, Big, they're honeybees. Honeybees are important to nature. They would all always need trees to build their beehive. If we don't help each other out, then how is nature going to stay balanced? Ugh, said the fig tree. If nature wanted me to spoil my branches, then it would not have made me so strong and beautiful. I am a beautiful creation of nature. So I am going to keep myself beautiful for the sake of nature. And why are you lecturing me? You care about nature? You do it. You let these bees build a beehive on you. Now if you'll excuse me. The mango tree was very hurt by the fig tree's words. But he chose not to react. He called out to the swarm of bees and asked them to build a hive on his branches instead. Queen Bee then said, Oh, you are generous, Mango. We would love to build a hive here. Mmm, yum. You smell so sweet. The mango tree then said, Ha ha ha, thank you, my queen. I am honored. The bees built their hive on the mango tree and lived there peacefully. The mango tree was not disturbed by their buzzing or their stickiness of their honey. The fig tree, on the other hand, continued to scream at everyone in sight. The fig tree said, Hey, your little chit-chat is bothering me. Quiet down a little bit. Your birds are so chirpy. Do you always have to sing? After a point, it's just a nuisance. A few weeks later, two woodcutters came to the forest. They needed wood to build houses. They saw the mango tree and decided to cut it down. They found it perfect for their work, but one of them noticed something. The first woodcutter said to the second woodcutter, Wait, what's that? His friend then replied, It's a beehive. The honeybees will sting us if we cut this tree. The woodcutter then said, Oh yes, let's find another mango tree. The woodcutters went ahead and saw the fig tree. They loved how tall the tree was. The first woodcutter said, Let's start at the lowest part of its bark. And so the woodcutters began to cut the fig tree. The fig tree began to cry. He didn't want to leave the forest suddenly. He missed all the birds and the swallows. The fig tree then said, Ouch, that hurts. What are they going to do with me? The mango tree was watching all of this. He called out to the honeybees. The mango tree said, Hey bees, is anyone buzzing? The queen bee replied, Hello mango. What happened? The mango tree then said, Fig is in trouble, we have to help him. The queen bee replied, Oh please, he only cares about himself. He's always angry at everything in the forest. Why should we help him? The mango tree replied, Because of the same reason I asked him to help you. The wind 
then set. But he doesn't help Queenie. I am with the bee on this one, Mango. Fig is so proud of himself all the time. Had he let the bees build the hive on him, the woodcutters would have left him alone. He is getting what he deserves. The mango tree then said, No, Breezy, however Fig behaved, it must not define us. Only because someone is rude to us doesn't mean we should be rude to them. The forest is home to all of us. We can't leave Fig when he needs us the most. The queen bee then replied, ah, Mango is right. We have to help Fig. Come on, buzzers. Come on out. Fig tree needs our help. All the bees came out of the hive and flew to the woodcutters. They began to buzz near their ears and in front of their eyes. The woodcutter said to his friend, Ah, oh, I can't see anything. His friend replied, What did you say? I can't hear anything. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh. We need to get out of here. These bees will sting us. It will be painful. His friend said, Stop screaming. You are the one who cannot hear. Not me, the woodcutter replied. Let's go out of here. The woodcutter scream and run away. Ah! After the woodcutters were gone, the fig tree was very embarrassed of his behavior. The fig tree said, I am so sorry, bees. You are the best to help me out after the way I behaved. The queen bee replied, Don't thank us, fig. Thank Mango. You never talked to him and always treated him rudely. But he's the one who convinced us to help you. The fig tree replied, Really? Mango? I am so sorry. I have realized my mistake. We all have good qualities in us. We all are special in our own way. I will never act snooty and insult anyone ever again. Please forgive me, all of you. The fig tree had learned his lesson and from that day on, he never screamed at the breeze or the birds. From that day on, he sang with the mango tree and let the sparrows build nests on him. The mango tree and the fig tree stayed best friends forever. The End